Hello and Asalaamu As Alaikum. Welcome back to Ali Raja Bagan 2020 Part 9. I am your host Akib Allah. I am Ali Raja. Asalaamu As Alaikum. In today's video, we will be showing you how to transplant this bottle gourd plant into the ground. Now we'll be discussing Bangalore. Um, it's the end of April now. I think, what, what date is it? The 27th? 27th. Now we normally grow Bangla into the ground um, roughly first week or the second week of May. Now this year we had fantastic weather. Uh, the weather has been really good really for the good. month of April. Yeah. Uh, the weather is warm enough. But we're going to plant them slightly early uh, for the purpose of this video so that when you're planting your Bangla uh, you can make informed decisions. We'll be discussing the type of fertilizer we'll be using uh, for our bottle gourds and the potting mix the size of the hole that we'll be digging into the ground and we'll also be giving an update on our garden without further ado dad let's start gardening let's start gardening so right this is uh, where we grow our bangalow uh, we grow two plants one in this corner and one at the other corner and we have a we have a uh, this is the trellis uh, that we uh, the, uh, the plant grows and climbs onto it so we're going to actually dig a hole in this corner. The hole has to be, the Bangla Lau roots likes to spread around. So we need to uh, create a hole, which is, I normally do about one and a half foot deep and one and a half foot wide. And then we can actually put our potting mix in there and then we'll place, place the Bangla Lau and we'll cover it. So let's, first of all, let's, let's dig the hole. So we're going to dig the hole nicely, make sure to protect your knees, use the knee protector so when you're kneeling onto the uh, concrete or onto the ground so you don't hurt your knees, safety comes first. It's the month of Ramadan so take it easy, you don't have to work too hard. It's only end of April so don't get FOMO. FOMO is a term that we use in um, trading. Uh, fear of losing out. So you're not going to lose out anything. I'm just I'm making this video. I'm, I'm putting them in the ground a little earlier than normal for the purpose of the video. So you're not losing out. Okay, as you can see, we have a nice, uh, we dug a nice, nice hole. That's about, I would say, 15 to 18 inch uh, deep. And then it's about 15 to 18 inch wide. Now this soil, you can see, is a fantastic soil. It's really good soil. So we're going to be uh, adding some uh, farmyard manure. Now, y y on, on, our, on my previous videos, you may have seen that we use uh, chicken uh, manure pellets. Just as good. But uh, for this purpose, you could use either horse, uh, horse manure, which is farmyard manure. Make sure you use the matured one or chicken pellet. So we're going to add about this much manure onto the hole. We're going to add some fish, bone and blood. We're going to add some Epsom salt. Just a handful. So we've got some horse manure, Epsom salt and uh, fish, blood and bone. Mix it all together. Right, so we're going to actually um, add some compost around the base of the hole, uh, base of the plant around it. So this is the cheapest compost that we're using, but we are going to be adding some horse manure to it and some fish, blood and bone. Okay. So some more horse manure into the compost and uh, some fish blood and bone. That will help the root to get stronger. Mix it all together. So I'm going to fill this bucket with the 
compost so that it will be easier for me to take it near to the planting area. So now we're going to be adding some compost around the base of the hole. So it'll be good for drainage. Now Bangalore or bottle gourd uh, roots like to spread around so we've got the hole large enough here and we've got plenty of nutrients in the ground. My dad has done the hard part and now it's my turn to do the easy part. There we go, let's place it right in the middle. The plant is nicely placed in the middle of the hole. Now I'm going to sprinkle some fish, blood and bone around the base. This is the soil that we dug up. I'll be adding some into the hole and mixing up with the new compost. Now we filled up the hole with um, soil, I'll be adding some mulch which is made out of wood bark. Mulch helps retain moisture so the soil doesn't get dr too dry. I will be adding a couple of bamboo sticks so the plant can climb up to the tray list. One there. One. Now let's give it a good drink. Water it around the soil, not on the leaf. Now the bangalore is uh, planted into the ground, we need to protect it. Uh, we're going to actually uh, put four bamboo sticks around it. All right, so we've got the four bamboo sticks around the plant, about a feet from it and a feet apart. I'm going to actually wrap, uh, put this bubble wrap around it, so protect it from wind and cold. So that if the weather changes overnight, it gets cold or it's very windy, it will protect the plant from it. So this is what I'm going to do. Wrap this around it and put a tape so that they stay in place. So I'm going to put a tape here and a tape there so it stays in place. So that will protect it's it from there. wind. Put one more there. And it will actually trap heat in there. Now if it gets too sunny I could put a, a net around it so that we don't get the harsh sun onto it. Now don't forget to add some slug killer around the base of the plant. Otherwise, uh, if it's a rainy day, you'll find the next day your plant will be gone, will be eaten away. Uh, just around it. So when it comes to plant food, we only use organic stuff. We don't use any chemical stuff on, our, uh, on, on the plants that we eat. So on the base of the um, um, bottle goat plant, we added um, horse manure and some fish, blood and bone and some Epsom salt. 
Now once the plant trails up to the trellis here and start fruiting, this is when we would uh, um, add turmeric and it has seaweed, as seaweed. it's all uh, organic stuff and we're going to be uh, um, feeding with uh, uh, turmeric once a week during the um, fruiting season. The reason we uh, feed our uh, bottle gourd or the banglala with turmeric uh, because uh, turmeric has uh, uh, high in potassium and banglala is a big fruit. Uh, bottle gourd is a big fruit and it needs a potassium based uh, fertilizer. So it has less nitrogen because we did put enough nitrogen on the ground which was horse manure. So this one has less nitrogen, more potassium and has enough uh, phosphorus in it to f for it to flower. So I find, uh, from my personal experience, tomorite is the best uh, fertilizer uh, to use on um, bottle gold or banglalau. Okay, so this bubble wrap is to protect the plant from cold and um, wind. Now if, the, if it's too sunny, uh, I'm going to actually put this net onto the trellis here. I normally use a net like this to actually protect uh, uh, the plant from harsh light, like the sun. I even use something like this on my um, glass house, the uh, greenhouse, if it's too sunny. So there's no direct sun going onto the plant. Now, let's give you an update on our garden. A few days ago, I have made a video on how to grow potatoes in a shopping bag. This is the shopping bag where we grew our potatoes in. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave the video link in the description down below. So please don't forget to check that out and why not give it a try? Wow, look at our coriander. It's coming up really nicely. Mmm, I love the smell of fresh corianders. It smells delicious. Now let me show you something amazing that we've done this week. We made a chili planter, uh, which is a self-watering, self-feeding chili planter. You can buy them uh, in uh, Amazon for £60, or you could watch our next video and learn how to make this. It only cost us £1 to make. We bought that uh, container only, only for a pound in um, pound silver, I think and we've turned that into a self-watering, self-feeding chili plant. You won't have to water your chili plant ever again. All you have to do is just put water into the container and hopefully it should last you one or two weeks, depending on the heat and the size of your plant. So stay tuned for the next video. I will show you how to make a self-watering, self-feeding chili plant. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't only make gardening videos, I make cooking videos and traveling videos. Have you seen my Explore Bangladesh and Dubai videos? If you haven't, I'll leave the playlist um, link in the description down below. So please don't forget to check them out. They're really interesting videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel or if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And please don't forget to comment and share my videos. Stay safe. Assalamu alaikum. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. I really hope you, you find some value watching our videos. If you do, please give us a thumbs up, like our videos, and share our videos among your friends. And uh, I hope you're having a great Ramadan. Happy gardening. Assalamu alaikum. And I'll see you in the next one.